Hello, welcome to my presentation. My name is Gabriela and I'm a PhD student at Johannes Kepler University Linz. I will present to you an empirical study on the life cycle of features in highly configurable software systems evolving in space and time. This is a joint work with Wesley, David, Lucas, Paul and Alexander. Highly configurable software systems rely on code fragments guarded by if that preprocessor directives are widely used both in open source and industrial systems, being one of the most successful tools to customize program behavior and create different variants. The features annotated with preprocessor directives enable alternating implementations and supporting multiple platforms and operating systems across different environments, satisfying multiple customers and users. However, over time, the customers or users can be not so happy when something does not work anymore as expected, due to, for example, a bug or a change in the requirements that demand features enhancement. Then, for managing system evolution time, developers of highly configurable software systems use virtual control systems to keep track of the change over time. However, highly configurable software systems implemented in virtual control systems do not offer proper support to retrieve and analyze the changes and at the level of features. As often, multiple features are committed at once, as shown in this example from LibSSH, where the commit message just reflects big changes, but there is no information about which features change it. Thus, developers are overwhelmed with multiple changes in multiple files annotated with many if devs and determining which features changed when multiple files and lines were modified can be infeasible and error-prone task. Work, we contribute with a comprehensive analysis of the feature life cycle in space and time, revealing the challenges and limitations of current mechanisms. For this, we also introduce an automated approach for mining repositories of highly configurable software systems managed in version control systems. The results of the analysis are based on the data set available, covering 20 years and a total of 37,000 500 commits of development of four open source systems from different domains. So now I will present in seven steps how we automated the mining approach and computer metrics for future evolution analysis. We begin by cloning the repository of a system selected for analysis. Then we collect information from all Git commits of all releases Afterwards, we partially preprocess the checked out commit files, annotated macros that are annotated macros expanded such that annotated conditional blocks only consist of literals. The files resulting from expanding macros in annotated conditional blocks are then used to create a tree structure to mine information about the features. In the step five, we look for the macros that have never been defined within the source code. That is the macros that can only be set externally by the user from the command line to obtain the ones that can be considered features of the system. In step six, every block that changed in a commit is identified and for each block that has a git div, fragments of the code that differ for the same file from one commit to another. In the last step, then we compute metrics on the change characteristics and revision characteristics. For computing the change characteristics, we obtain the fragment difference with kit patches, that is representation of the difference between two text files in a line-oriented way. For computing the revision characteristics, we analyze every block of code presented in the search files of commit and compute the revision characteristics based on the features assigned with a constraint satisfaction problem solver. In the study goal, we aim to analyze the life cycle of features in terms of when and how they are introduced, removed, and revised in both space and time during each commit of system development and evolution. In the research question one, 
How often are features revised through their life cycle? We investigate the frequency of feature revisions along with system evolution. Also, we analyze how developers introduce and remove features in each commit, as well as the features that were revised by a change. In the research question two, what is the scope of feature revisions? We analyze each batch of change of a feature in a commit by assessing the impact of characteristics of the change. In particular, we determine the characteristics of the change of each revision of the features. In the research question three, how do feature revisions uh, affect the complexity of feature implementation? We aim to understand how features evolve over time. That is to what extent the implementation of a revision of a feature changes from one commit and from one release to another. We selected metrics based on the usefulness of feature metrics for preprocessor based systems to measure the feature complexity by Ferreira et al and Keros et al. So regarding the change characteristic metrics, we measure the lines of code added, the lines of code removed for each feature revision patch of change, the toggling degree for each variation point of feature revisions patch of change, the scattering degree ifs, that is the number of variation points affected by the patch of change, the scattering degree files, that is the number of files impacted for each feature revision patch of change, and for revision characteristics, we computed the number of lines of code of a feature revision. The scattering degree is the number of variation points of a feature revision. And the scattering degree not ifs is the number of variation points with if not def or else directives. The scattering degree file is the number of files with variation points of a feature revision. The toggling degree is the number of feature revisions in the variation points of a feature revision. The nesting degree is the number of variation points inside a variation point of feature revision. And the number of top level branches is the number of out variation points without any outside and closing variation point. And the number of non top level branches is the number of variation points with an outermost variation point. Let us use an example to illustrate how we compute these metrics. Listing one shows a code snipped in the first commit, and listing two shows the code snipped of the same file, but in the second commit. In this illustrative example, we assume the macros A and Y as part of the set of features, which can only be set by the user. The other macros X, B, and C are defined within the source code and are not considered features as they cannot be set externally. Analyzing the change in line 11, we cannot simply assume that B and C have changed, as they are not features of the system. We have to walk up the file to see which features are defining B and C. Thus, walking up the file, we have a feature implication with the macro X, which defines B and sets a value greater than 5 to C. Also, the macro X is defining another block of code containing the feature Y in the condition expression. So for the change in line 11, the block will be activated when Y is true. That is when feature Y is selected as X, B, and C are not considered features. Then the change is assigned to feature Y and the metrics for change characteristics are computed as follow. Lines of code added one, as we have one line at adding commit one. Lines of code removed one, because one line was removed from commit zero. Tangling degree equals two, involving the features Y and base, which represents the core of the system. Scattering degree ifs equals two, because we have two patches of change affecting a variation point. One line removed in commit zero and one line added in commit one. Scattering degree file one because the change was only one file. The revision characters of feature Y are as follows. Lines of code added one from line two. Scattering degree ifs is one because of we have the variation point in lines one to three. Scattering degree not if zero. Scattering degree file equals one. 
rectangle in degree equals one because base is the only feature impacting or interacting to activate the variation point from lines one to three. Nest in degree zero, number of top level branch one because we only have the top level branch variation point from lines one to three. Number of non-top level branch equals zero. Regarding the subject systems, our study investigated the evolution history for all commits of all releases of four open source C preprocessor based systems with different size and different domains, as you can see in this table. So in the research question one, how often are features revised through their life cycle? There is a great diversity of how developers manage and evolve highly configurable software systems in version control systems over each commit. Commits covering chains in both space and time affecting multiple features and files. In SQLite, constant inclusion and exclusion of features happen to support, for example, testing tasks. Our systems have three to seven percent of the commits containing feature evolution in space and up to eight percent were changes affecting only the code of features. Regarding research question two, what is the scope of feature revisions? Change characteristic of feature shows if the change of a commit resulted in new variation points in additional files or if code was removed or added in nested features. In this table, we can see following the Keras et al. threshold that LibSSH changes are complex in terms of scattering degree ifs and tangling degree. The tangling degree is also complex for the other systems as more than 20 percent of the features have a tangling degree greater or equal than three. We also analyze the correlations of change characteristics to understand how changes to feature impact complexity, looking especially to the strong characteristics correlations of feature having open SSL from LibSSH, we see that more lines of code were added in a block impacting this feature and more variation points of ifs were impacted. From this, we can infer that changing a feature with a complex implementation may have a big impact on the system and other features. Still taking into account the correlations of change characteristics of this feature, we can also see that scattering degree ifs and lines of code removed are strongly correlated when a change involves main scattering degree ifs. And it not only means that code was added or changed, but also that lines were removed from its implementation. Our third research, research question about how do feature revisions affect the complexity of feature implementation shows that implementation complexity of the features according to Keros at all threshold is high for Libus's age and in terms of scattering degree and scattering degree files. We see also that for Bison, this is a complex implementation because we have a tangling degree greater than are equal than three for more than 20% of the features. And also because of the number of non-top level branches, which represents 60% of the features variation points. And SQLite is also considered complex in terms of scattering degree ifs. Still regarding the research question three, looking to the revision characteristics through all the commits of with FPT feature from Ibasas age, the lines of code increased over time as do the number of scattering degree ifs and file. In addition, we can see that its nesting degree is greater or equal than one, meaning that when a change to this feature increases, its lines of code. The new lines of code can be part of another feature that is inside of one of its variation points. And to answer in our research question, we can see that many changes indirectly affect other features and impacted multiple variation points, leading to scattering degree of feature implementations. Usually features with more revisions are the ones with a higher number of variation points and that have high impact in the system, which need constant bug fixes and enhancements. Changes increasing the number of variation points usually lead to more revisions over time. To summarize in this work, we present an analysis of the feature life cycle and the impact of changes on the complex stuff feature implementation. We also introduced an automated mining approach for mining characteristics of change and implementation complex stuff feature revisions. And our analysis and find showed the complex stuff evolving software systems in space and time. 
And in future work, we will investigate granularity levels of chains of every commit and connect information on future evolution with bug reports and bug fixes. We also aim to provide a tool data for visualization to make easier the understand of the evolution for developers and engineers. Thank you for your attention.